Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So, picking up where we left off, looks like we are going to be heading to Sentinel's Peak. Don't know what awaits us there, but looks like a Mongol outpost. Let's see if we can go ahead and clear it. The last Mongol outpost we visited uh, wasn't really prepared for all the enemy watchtowers, so let's see if we can make this one count. Let's go ahead and take the rock face. I'm almost interested to see what it's like going into a village just going full samurai mode and seeing how difficult the combat would be. I'm assuming Sentinel's Peak would be up here. I can hear the drums playing. Alright, so I'm not going to climb here. Let's see if I can find a way up using the horse. I don't know how to feel about the horse charge. Uh, I don't understand how they made it into a, a ghost weapon, per se. Uh, I guess, I mean, it just found a slot for it, but it doesn't really seem like a very ghost weapon thing. But let's see how we can clear out Sentinel's Peak. Alright, so there is a yellow bird here. Not sure what here he would be leading us to. Alright, kill enemies without healing. Seven in a row. That should be doable. Let's see if I can get an overall picture of what's going on here. So we got one dude up top. Any more up top? That's a good vantage point. Let's see if we can sneak around to get over there. Should be pretty safe sneaking out here on the outside because we got the ghost armor on, but there was a dog. Oh, a new way to break in in villages. I like it. Although it's not very sneaky when you're just breaking a solid wooden wall. Alright, so there's definitely something else going on here. Not quite sure what. Let's check it out. So, got four over there. One in the tower that we're going to have to take out before we go into that courtyard. Let's see if I can see anything up here. Alright, so we're going to blow dart the guy up top. That'll be how we start. Let me make sure the blow dart takes out these new guys. Okay, that's one. So yeah, he's gone. Let's get a picture. I saw one guy on patrol down here. I think he went into the hut. Let me see. Alright. Let's go around. Is there a way to drop down here without... Making a big scene. I don't want to lose any health. Because I don't want to have to heal. I want to get the bonus. Let's see if we can go around this way. No. Alright. There's got to be a way down. Why would they let you come up? You can't go down. What? Matter of fact, let's see if we can... Get this guy with a... Wind chime. That'll let us get down. Any more enemies in the area around here that are going to see me do this? I don't think so. And we'll be in the hidden grass, or the tall grass, so. Should be okay. Can you stop interrupting my assassinations, please? Alright, so we got a guy over on the other side. Alright, so we should be safe to walk through here. Let's go ahead and get some of these supplies. Got quite a bit of upgrading still to do. Celebrating their crimes against Iki. Woo! That was close. I didn't realize that this opened up into such an open area back here. I thought it was all closed in. Is there a way to get through? Yep. We'll come back to the front in a second. Alright. Let's see if we can get this guy. Get this guy in the hidden grass and then... Before we clear out too far in this courtyard, we're going to have to take over a guy in the lighthouse tower, or guard tower, whatever it might be. See if we can get around. Alright, is there a way up from here? And is there a guy in here? Don't see anyone. Hopefully there's no one is facing us. Alright, so chain assassination opportunity. 
Alright, so that's five without healing. Two more assassinations, and we should be good to go. Is there anyone over here? There's a whole bunch of people over here. So one, two, three. We could sneak around the tall grass. Get behind the pins. And... Oh, is those dogs? Damn, he's got dogs over there. I don't think we're going to be able to sneakily take them out. I mean, I'm sure there's a way, but it's going to be difficult to find out in the first run. Definitely going to be visiting a lot of these outposts two or three times just to get a perfect stealth run through and then make some content out of it. I did pick up, I think, two records of Iki. I'm not sure if it was two or one, but definitely going to be checking those out. Very interested to see the story that goes along with the Iki Island. All right. Let's see here. We're going to have to clear the other side as well. So can I get up on this tower without being seen? Yes, I can. Try to lure this guy on the other side of this. Palisade. Get him to walk over. See if there's anyone else. Alright, we got one guy and one dog. I believe that there was a dog over here somewhere. Probably take out the dog with a poison dart. Alright, one more. And we get our bonus. All right, dogs down. Always best to take the the dog down out of sight, but with the poison dart because generally the dog doesn't alert enemies when you kill them. All right, there's a guy over here with a one dog, maybe two, can't tell. Alright, let's see if we can get in through here and check this far side. And once we clear this far side, it's just the dog and that one Mongol. Let's see if there's anyone in here. Yep. Take him down. Get our stuff. And let's see. Any good way to go about getting this dog... I wonder. I wonder. Alright. One guy looks like the general. Some guys in a cage. Where's the dog? Alright, so when they go back, I'm gonna have to make some magic happen over here actually considering what the hell is dog how is this dog seeing me holy crap is this hidden grass not working all right here we go boom all right that's our seventh i believe might have been our eighth who is seeing me? Is it this guy? That's crazy. Oh, it's the guy up here. Fuck. they found me or they're looking for me okay they're looking for me let's see if I can get this guy over here by himself all right go ahead and take him down and then we'll sneak through the cut right here I didn't even see that archer tower Go ahead and lure him away as well. We'll get him from behind. Boom. 
Good thing I didn't try to do a double assassination there. Would have failed miserably. We'll let all these guys out after we cleared everything. Generally, when there's prisoners, it'll let them all out at the end anyway, so there's no point in running around trying to do everything at once. Picked up some steel there. Very useful, even though we don't need any more upgrades for our katana. It'd be nice if they upgraded the Tonto and gave you like 10 more assassination an animations though. It's one thing I think that the game, even though I really love the new animations, uh, in general the game was lacking a substantial amount of animation for the assassinations. Well, actually I wish it would just unlock all of the animations and just randomly do it. Okay, this is the pillar, so we're still clearing the outpost. probably have time to do that pillar after let's see all right so I can swing and assassinate this guy is there any enemies all right so what we're gonna do I'm gonna throw this way all right there's another guy over there all right yeah so there's a ton of enemies over here I'm going to just have to try my best here to get as many as possible and then we'll fight the rest with our ghost stance. Let's see. Alright, now ghost stance. Gonna go and get the shaman. Alright. And... This guy. And now the puppies. Sorry, bro. That should be it. That was pretty smooth, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't get the full stealth clear, but close enough. Alright, so... Now we got some, I guess the raiders are taking over the fort instead of the regular civilians. So nice change of scenery, I guess. Increased legend. I guess the Sakai name is coming back to Ikki. Or Ikki Island. Let's go check and see what we have over here. Oh, they burnt down everything, looks like. I wonder if there's anything in this tower. Nope. Did you say we have archery challenges? Definitely try to find some of those, I guess. Dang, I feel like I should have tried to loot everything before I finished it. I can't pick anything up. I mean, granted, I'll come through here again, and it should repopulate all the stuff I missed, but definitely won't be doing that until a little bit later on. That was a good little run. I'm kind of impressed. All right, let's go do this uh, Pillar of Honor. Or is it Pillar of Honor or Shrine? I think it was up here. I got to look like a Mongol for a second. How did we get there? Is it up here? Alright, it was way up there. I'm trying to figure out how we got there. There we go. Boom. Is this the way to the pillar? Doesn't look like it. What's down here? Nothing. Alright, so this is just the alternate way to get into this village. I think the pillar was up around this way. Alright, so if it's a pillar of honor, that means we should be getting a new skin for our weapon. See what this one is. Immortal Hope. It 
still carries the scent of wisteria that live for lifetimes. Okay, I don't know what wisteria is, but we can check it out here. Uh, it's pink, so while I enjoy wearing pink, especially dress up clothes, as far as like a uh, button up shirt with a tie, I do not enjoy wearing it on my samurai sword. So, oh no, so much for healing. All right, so where are we going next? We just opened up this whole area. What is this? Survivor's Coast, already been there. All right, let's go look at this undiscovered location. And then we'll wrap up this episode there. I know I can charge enemies. I don't need to prompt every time. I swear I turned off the HUD. I don't know why it's prompting all the stuff for me. I turned off the HUD to basically only appear when I'm supposed to interact with it, so I don't know why it's showing me. I guess it's telling me to interact with it on the horse. I highly doubt I'll really do any of that horse charging unless I'm just really, really trying to get somewhere and I run into a bunch of Mongols on the road. Other than that, I don't really foresee too much uh, horse trampling going on. All right. Is it up this river or up this hill? All right, there's a bird. We'll just follow the bird. It should take us where we're going. Come on, Jin. I know it's all uphill. And trust me, I do know how much that sucks running uphill this far, but... Gotta make it. Gotta make it. What is this? Is that a bad guy? Oh, shit. Well, if it was, it was three of them. If you can have Archery it, challenge. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... I don't know what this is gonna entail, but... We'll throw on categories armor. And pull out a short bow. Let's see. Challenging me? That depends. Are you for or against these Mongols? Against. Then that's all I need to know. We set up archery targets around Iki to train for another samurai invasion. Uh oh. We got Mongols. If you're looking for practice, well, it didn't really help too much, did it? Through each lantern as fast as you can. I've shot warriors while riding on horseback. I think I can hit a few lanterns. Yeah, for real. Is one thing. Speed is another. Uh. When you're ready, grab an arrow. So we grab the arrows from here. Oh, I missed both? That sucks. Oh shit. I'm sucking. Oh, I'm really sucking. Alright, I need a rerun. I'm not used to the distance. Alright. Seven seconds for gold? What the hell? How? Oh, Alright, we're gonna try this again. That's crazy. It's got to be impossible to hit seven seconds. I mean, come on. All right, I'll take silver. Charm of concentration increases. Con okay, that might help. Charm of Concentration improved. Alright, alright. Let me see, can I put that... Couple more goes and you'll get there. That's crazy. Seven seconds. There's five... Uh, one, two, three, four... How many targets are there? There's like six targets. It's a second per target. That's crazy. I need to upgrade my Tatiori's armor. Increases knocking speed, increases concentration. Alright, so let's go to my longbow. Alright, let's go to my Tatiori's. Go to charms. And let's see what kind of difference this made. 
Where is it? Where is it? Am I tripping? All right. So increase concentration by 0.2. That doesn't really do a whole lot. All right, let's see. Uh, I blew it. I think I might be able to get it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, let's try. One more time. Oh, I need to hit that first one. A little bit higher. I missed? Alright, so let me find the exact range. Alright, cool. So I need to put the second line, the second stadia on the top of the target. Oh, I almost had it. I almost had it. All right, I'll come back once I've upgraded a little bit. I think I need a little bit more concentration time. Where are we going next? Let's go check out this area. We'll just rock the Tadiori's armor for right now. In case someone wants to try my my sniper skills. That's that's a fun little mini game. It's almost like a duel, but for archery. Except you can't die, which kind of takes the the duel part out of it, I guess. But I did always feel like the archery didn't get enough love in the game, I guess. So it's nice to see. All right, am I supposed to go underwater or something? Or is there a cave? Let's see what's up here. Waterfall Haikyuu. Okay, we'll do this Haikyuu real quick, and then we will end this episode. Where are you at? Up here? Up here? Thank goodness, travel for this one. Usually it's at the bottom of like a water area, but I guess this one's at the top. Make sure we're not passing up as we climb up. I am so lost right now. See if I can see it down there. Alright, well I will find it and then we'll pick up our episode from right here. I don't want to run too long while I'm looking for a waterfall. So I'll find it and we'll pick up right from there. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know if you like it. And uh, I am really enjoying it. Hope you guys are too. Take it easy.